Welcome to 147 Oslin Drive. We are standing in the foyer and you can see here that it is an open to above floor plan. It is a gorgeous home located right in front of the ravine, which I'll show you in a minute um, of how close your access is. Just off in the front living room or family room, whatever you want to call it, you can see the view right here. So just off onto the side here, you'll be able to see the walking path and you can go right straight in this way or just down the street, there's another entryway into White McCreek Ravine. Um, this area is lots of space, clean carpets, freshly painted. You've got room for a piano. Um, and then you walk into the kitchen this direction. Oops, we just went right outside. So in the kitchen here, um, you have space for a table and your kitchen is nice and spacious. It's easy to update or live in. It is nice and clean and ready to move in. There's a pantry here in the corner. And if you take a look at this map on the side, you'll see how big it is. And then you look onto your open to above family room. So when you walk in here, you'll see the soaring ceilings and you can see the little balcony from above that looks down. This room also looks into the backyard and it is connected to the hot tub room. Now this hot tub is no longer um, working. However, if you just wanna buy a pump, you can get it back to working. Um, but this is a nice space with a double-sided fireplace and access to the deck outside. So outside you can see low maintenance backyard with a large deck composite and just very low maintenance. You've got a fire pit out here and a shed. And really you'll probably be spending a lot of time walking outside in the path, which we'll show you later in the photos. So it is a fully finished home. Um, if you take a look, we're gonna go upstairs. Now, just around the corner here, there's an office. So this office is a main floor office. You can see right here. So you've got lots of space here. You could use this as a bedroom as there is a closet and a couple windows, but um, with the open glass door and windows, you just have to kind of close that in. Uh, there is a full half bath as well, large half bath actually, on the main floor. So you have access to this. And just off on the side, if you look at the floor plan to the left of the screen, you will see the staircase. So to go down the stairs, we just click on this button and you can kind of look around here. There is another full bathroom here. And walking down, there's a bedroom here. So you can look at this. And then a den storage rec room, which is actually the movie room, and a, another bedroom. So just off to the side from the stairs, this is the other bedroom here. And down this hallway, there is um, right here, lots of space here in the den area. And then the rec room can also be used as a movie room because it actually has a step um, built in and the screen over here. So let's go upstairs and take a look at the upstairs where you will be sleeping and hanging out. So see this nice impact here of the open to above. This is the primary, so French doors. And again, a view into your deck, private deck. And then you can see the ravine views. And this is the walking path entrance. So this is kind of the end of the street. So it's a lot quieter. And then you've got another pathway just down the way over here. You are a corner lot, so there's no neighbor directly beside you on this side. And we go back into the bedroom. Uh, the ensuite is totally ready for you to customize, or if you want to just use it for now until you're you know, ready to make the changes, you can do that. And then I'll show you down the hallway, there is also a den right close to the staircase. So right here, there's another office space reading nook. Um, you can do whatever your heart desires. Maybe it's a play area. Down the hallway, you've got two nice sizable bedrooms and a bathroom. So over on this side, this is storage. And here is the bathroom and another bedroom on this side. And this bedroom on this side over here also has um, not only the ravine views, but a nice reading nook. People love these little benches. It's a storage bench as well. And you have the ravine view from this. You've got ravine views from almost every window in this home. And so if you want to take a look at the photos, just click the photo link and you'll see the exterior of the home and all the pictures, including pictures of the outside where you will be able to see the walking paths and that kind of stuff here. And then the details, this is for the square footage and the size. So again, you can click on the feet and meters and you can see 
the different floors, how big they are on each floor, but then also the total square footage. So this house is just under 3000 square feet. And if you look at the map, you can see the location. So it's a very exclusive location. Like I mentioned, it's almost at the end of the road here. There's only three houses literally on this little stretch. And then this is the White Mud Creek Ravine. And you can see here, this is just a quiet cul-de-sac if people are driving here. So only people that live over here are gonna be coming past the house. And then there's a small entrance. Now it's very close to the Ogilvy Ridge Park and the White Mud Creek Community Center, and also really easy access just right outside to Rabbit Hill Road. Um, so you can see all the amenities that are close by living in this great neighborhood. Make sure to check it out and you can check the link down below to click around and explore this house all for your own.